Hi kids, my name is Amy and today's story is all about how God used the youngest member of a family, Gideon. Gideon was someone that nobody thought was that important. And in fact, I think Gideon was as surprised as anybody that God had chosen him. In fact, Gideon didn't even believe God to begin with. But he soon came to see that with God's help, little people can do big yeah. things. <laughs> You see, Gideon felt weak and he felt very small, but God had asked him to be a true hero for him. What are real heroes like, do you think? When I think of heroes, I think of people who are really strong or really fast. We poked our heads out. We have poked our heads out. See, superheroes, I think, do things that normal people can't. Sometimes superheroes are really kind. They don't look a lot like superheroes, but what they do is really, really special. Gideon felt afraid of the people, the nasty people that had taken over the place where he lived. But God had asked him to be a superhero for him. I wonder if you too sometimes feel a bit afraid. I'm a bit frightened of spiders. I am a bit frightened of spiders. I am a bit frightened of spiders. Let's pretend to be Gideon and show how he was feeling. Gideon was frightened. He was frightened of the enemy soldiers and that they would take his food away. Can you show me your frightened face? <laughs> Very good. Gideon was angry. He wanted a brave hero to come and chase the soldiers away. Can you show me your angry faces? Very good. Gideon was surprised when he saw an angel standing right in front of him. Can I see your surprised face? <laughs> Gideon was confused. He said, no, not me. I'm too weak. Can you be confused like Gideon? <laughs> Very good. But then the angel said, you can do anything if God helps you. Gideon was happy and really smiley. Can I see your happy smiley faces? <laughs> well done. Brave hero chase the soldiers away. Yeah, that's right. Gideon knew that he could be strong and brave because God had chosen him. He knew that God loved him and would always, always help him. This week's Bible verse is taken from a book in the Bible called Romans. Romans 3 verse 31 says, For if God is for us, then who can be against us? That means that nothing at all can ever be against us because we know that God is for us and with us and loves us. He might not always like what we do or we say, but we can be sure that he loves us no matter what. If you want to learn more about Gideon, you could read the rest of his story in Judges chapters six and seven. Bye. I'm putting it back. Good job. Bye.